It's a great day for hockey cards, and today, 16-17, the cup. Uh, but before we get to that guy, let me remind you once again about our ongoing contest. If you haven't signed up for it yet, I recommend you do. I'm giving away an 1819 Upper Deck Series 110 and an Upper Deck Series 2 Hockey Mega Box. Uh, follow the instructions in the video description below to learn how you could win one of these. I'm going to give them both away. This is uh, my way of saying thank you for we passed our 500 and 600 subscriber level. Um, we also passed our 700 one uh, while this is going on. So keep subscribing. <laughs> thank you very much for subscribing. We'll do another giveaway for 700. We do one for every hundred videos or hundred subscribers uh that i get um and everyone who's got one seems really appreciative of it and that's nice as well so go ahead and check out the details and win uh you'll notice we have another hole in the display we're gonna throw up zach aston reese silver on black autograph i really like how these autographs look this is of course uh from my personal collection 1819 black diamond uh, I collect Penguin Rookies, Zach Aston Reese, Penguin Rookie, and I really like that. So we're going to throw that up here. And let's talk about the cup. This is Upper Deck's kind of premier product. Um, unless you think that, uh, uh, what's the new one they came out with? It's only one card per pack. I can't think of it off the top of my head, but this is basically their premier product. 1617 was a great year for rookies. This is about $600 a box US, very expensive product. You don't get many cards in it. It's super hit or miss. Basically what you're looking for is the rookie patch autos out of here. Uh, obviously Austin Matthews, Mitch Marner uh, are two of the highlights of this one. Uh, you pull either one of those guys, and you are doing quite okay for yourself. Um, this is the last box that I have of this. I've opened a lot of it. Um, but here we go. So opening the cup is almost like its own little adventure. Uh, the packaging is extensive they don't print any odds in the boxes um but let's break into this guy we've got an outer box which you then open and this is always extremely difficult to get to gonna pull it off camera for a second here I press this open so i don't knock the, knock the uh, thing around and you've got a outer box which leads to an inner tin which looks like the outer box, except it's a tin. Which then opens to reveal, I kid you not, another box. And it's packed in this nice velvet lining. I usually keep these because these are really nice to uh, ship high-end cards in. Um, if I sell something that's particularly expensive, um, I'll actually throw it in one of these tins, put it back in the box, and then ship it. Yeah, so this is what this box looks like before we get into it. Uh, once again, not any type of odds on here. Um, you can pull some great stuff. You can also get skunked on this. This is very hit or miss. Uh, let me think of how I'm going to do this because we don't want to reveal the cards uh, until we're ready to reveal the cards. So let's do... Uh, Let's go like this, and try and grab them one by one. And our first card is a base card, 13 to 249, Alex Petrangelo. So the cup is always kind of simple design uh, with a lot of kind of intricate cut foil 
like this one is here and the cup logo. All the base cards are serial numbered to 249, so kind of a low run on all of them. That's what the back looks like. It's just a cropped in picture of the face. It's not any different picture and you get a sampling of statistics as well and a little write-up. So we've got Alex Petrangelo for our first card. And our second card is Pavel Buknevich. A nasty patch. Three color. Rookie auto patch. Numbered to 249. So that's a pretty nice hit. Not the best rookie. But it's a really nice swatch there. Pavel Buknevich with an on-card auto. And over here and see if we can get our next card. Uh, pull it around. Try not to give him too much away here. And we've got a very nice Patty Kane patch auto, two color, numbered just out of 25. Look at that. Two color patch. This is game used. It's always better than, in my opinion, always better than Event Horn. Uh, Patty Kane, that's super nice. Okay, next card is an upper deck, the Cup Enshrinements, number 99 and 99, the last one in the series of Jimmy VC. Uh, his stock has fallen incredibly since he was a rookie. Uh, really neat signature. I think he's now on Buffalo. Uh, I'm not quite sure. Um, hopefully he can revive his career. That is numbered 99 of 99. Enshrinements Auto, Jimmy VC. So there's two cards left, and one of them's a base. So I'm going to... Sorry, I just had to stand up to kind of get out. There's two cards left. One's a base, so we're going to pull the base first. John Tavares, 75 of 249. Base card. So, nice base. Tavares, not bad to pull. And our final card is... A one of one cyan printing printing plate of Jason Dickinson of the Dallas Stars. This is from 1617 SPX Shadow Box Rookies. Just see there, it's numbered one of one. So they take the printing plate and they actually mount it in this cardboard casing. Jason Dickinson. So that's our box of the cup. Uh, that is, I would not consider that a great box. Um, the Patty Kane is a super nice card to pull. Uh, I like this one. Uh, nothing really, really major out of this. Like I said, cup is hit or miss, and I would probably have to rate this one a miss, unfortunately. This, like I said, this Patrick Kane is probably the best thing. Uh, the Buknevich auto patch, also pretty sick. Uh, but that is our break of 1617 The Cup Hockey. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, please give us a subscribe. Don't forget to check the description of the video to learn how you can enter our giveaway for those two boxes I showed you earlier. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.